In this video, we are discussing partitioning pattern overview. Partitioning pattern will be used for those applications where we require to move our records into multiple different categories. Let us suppose we are having the employee details in a certain data set. The huge data set is there. We can divide all these records into multiple different categories depending upon the designation. So let us suppose we are having the transactions. One data set is consisting of multiple different records on transactions. We can divide those transactions into multiple different categories like the month name. In that case, we will be having 12 such partitions. So let us discuss more on this particular topic. So what is partitioning pattern? This pattern simply moves the records into different categories and it does not care about the ordering of data. So in which order the data will be existing after doing the partitioning. So that is not the main issue here. So here it will move the records into different categories only. So it uses to partition the similar type of data into some distinct partitions to form a smaller data set. So obviously from the huge data set if you go for multiple partitions, so for each partition you are getting one smaller data set. So we have to know about the number of partitions we require to perform. So like to divide the data based on the weekdays, we need to have seven such partitions. So depending upon the criteria, how many number of partitions we require that should be pre-known to us. Partitioning pattern structure. So most of the cases it used the identify mapper to perform the map task. So here the mapper will be responsible to perform the map task. And the custom partitioner is the main part of this pattern. And this partitioner selects the appropriate reducer to complete the task. So partitioner knows that which reducer is meant for which kind of task. So accordingly, the partitioner will do the needful so that the partitioner selects the appropriate reducer to complete the partitioning operation. Let us go through one diagram here. Here we are having multiple input splits. So depending upon the data size, depending upon the size of the data set, the number of splits will be decided. Then next we are having this identify mappers. So multiple mappers are working with the with each one of these input splits. And then we are having this partitioner. So partitioner is actually responsible to know that which partition will be handled by which reducer. So here the shuffling and shorting is taking place and the reducers are there and these reducers we have called this as identify reducers and they will be producing the required part files. So part A, part B and part C. So in the next videos also we will be going for the implementation of this concept and in this video we have given you one overview of this concept. Thanks for watching this video.